Hey guys, how's it going? Gamer with Lime here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the Black Ops 3 uh, new update that came out. I think I believe it was last night, actually. I was out for the evening, so I didn't actually get it until this morning. Well, I actually, it was on my console. Um, I didn't actually see it until this morning. So, anyways, uh, the black market updates and more. So, when we talk about some of the stuff here, it's uh, version number 1.04. Um, there may be a couple of different pages that I show you here. So this update includes quick drawing feature and menus. Um, has you can see items recently acquired from the black market, burned duplicate items, which is probably a good thing because as you know in advanced warfare, as soon as you got something, you could have like several of it and it would just take up space. Uh, this will actually allow you to cash them in to get more crypto keys. Um, now also too, there's three brand new secondary special weapons. Which I believe are already unlocked for PS. Well, actually, I think they're actually unlocked for both consoles at the moment, um, as far as I know. Anyway, so uh, what those three weapons are is the wrench, the butterfly knife, and the brass knuckles. So here we are, three specialty weapons now in BO3. That's on PS4. Now I'm pretty sure, like I said, if you go into Xbox One, it does show them also available here. There's actually three other. Uh, slots here and those are actually unlockable in the market so there we have the butterfly knife there we have the brass knuckles or sorry that's not brass knuckles that is the wrench and then we have the brass knuckles so as it so says uh, those are available uh, once unlocked through the black market so then we're going to go back to here for a couple seconds. A uh, couple different patch notes. We have multiplayer theater, which they do have some changes in theater, which is good because I'd like to be able to use theater more, which along with probably several people would actually like to be able to use theater more. Um, then we have some general patch settings, general gameplay, uh, XP earn rate increase for team deathmatch, search to destroy, capture the flag, safeguard, demolition, and free for all. Increase the rate at which crypto keys are earned. So that's probably a good thing. Crypto keys getting them faster always a better thing. Uh, a couple of other different patches here and there. We have some specialist stuff, creative class stuff. Uh, here's all the actual, you know, different uh, things for weapons: submachine guns, assault rifles, uh, shotguns, like machine guns, pistols, special attachments. So there's tons of stuff in here. So now, actually, the other thing we're going to talk about is the fact that Call of Duty points are coming to uh, BO3. So it says on here that Update Store, or Xbox One Store, has been updated. I've been on my Xbox, and I do not see them there currently. So I don't know what time they're going to actually arrive. So 200 Call of Duty points is $1.99, 1,000 plus 100 bonus is 9.99, 2,000 plus 400 bonus is 19.99. 4,000 plus 1,000 bonus is 39.99. So uh, it says on there, Call of Duty points are not yet live on PC and uh, PS4, as the stores have not or have yet to update. And like I said, as far as I know, uh, that's the same way as um, Xbox One, because they are not on my um, store at the current time. I've, I just checked like 10 minutes ago. So, um, anyways, you're also going to be able to do different things here um, <clears throat> you can earn crypto keys in black ops 3 by ranking up and playing but for players that want more the new call of duty points currency will be available for purchase fans can get fans can get call of duty points and use them to buy rare supply drops in the black market in call of duty black ops 3 so obviously there's uh, in addition and zombies players will be able to use call of duty points to acquire vials of liquid divinium which are used to create gobble gums so the Call of Duty points can also be used to buy additional content coming to Black Ops 3, including all the new extra slots pack. According to Activision, all fans on PS4, Xbox One, and PC will get 200 Call of Duty points for logging, uh, or for free, for logging in starting tomorrow. Now this article is from the 14th, so today is the 15th, so... Uh, as far as I know, as long as everybody goes on and plays today, everybody should get 200 Call of Duty points free for just playing today um, so but anyways that's about it for these uh, updates as soon as certain things happen um, if it comes becomes available uh, then maybe I'll make another video and 
show you what I'll actually do with my 200 Call of Duty points. Like I said, they haven't shown up yet. And as for uh, them being available on the market, they're just not simply there yet. So anyways, like I said, as soon as I actually have those on my console, then I will uh, make an upload or make another video and show you guys uh, when it becomes available. So, uh, but anyways, that's it for now and we'll talk to you guys soon.